Hi once again everyone and welcome to another one of our series of interviews here on HoustonAlumni.com. Today we sit down with our new volleyball coach, Molly Alvey. Molly, welcome to the Houston community first of all. Thank you. Alright, tell us a little bit about who Molly Alvey is. Who Molly Alvey is? Uh, well, Molly Alvey is a Louisville, Kentuckian at heart, born and raised in Kentucky. Um, did my undergraduate, yes. Ever been to the Derby? Many a times. Okay, just check. Many a times. Okay. Um, went to Center College, which is a small liberal arts school in Danville, Kentucky. It's the most dead center in nowhere, uh, Kentucky. And did my master's work up at Temple University in Philadelphia. And since then, I've just kind of been in the coaching coaching reins after that. Okay, so what, did, what age did you start playing volleyball? Oh, gosh. Um, I started doing the travel volleyball and getting into AAUs at 12, so about 8th grade. You got bit by the bug real bad, huh? Really bad, yeah. And um, actually probably a basketball player at heart, but played both sports um, beyond both sports very young. Okay, so after you got out of college, mm -hmm. the volleyball passion was still there? Um, the volleyball passion, I played volleyball and basketball in college both. I had a volleyball coach in college that pushed and pushed me to get my master's degree. So she found a graduate assistant position for me at Temple which I went and coached and got my master's. And after my three years in Philly, it was time to get a job. No one would take me in the business world with zero experience. So I landed my first job at University of Southern Indiana and that actually is probably where I knew that coaching was 100% what I wanted to do. And so you've been with it ever since. You went mm -hmm. from there to Mississippi, correct? Correct. As an assistant for five years? Was assistant for two and a half years and associate head coach for two and a half years. Okay, so five years all together mm -hmm. at Ole Miss before you got the offer from Mac Rhodes to come here. Correct. When he called you about this job, what was enticing to you? What was enticing? You know, that's a great question because I wasn't necessarily looking to leave Ole Miss. I mean, I, I always, I think as a coach, you always keep your options open and you're always looking for opportunities, um, and I knew that that time was coming soon. I just didn't know it would be that soon. Um, and honestly, I, I never envisioned myself in Texas. I always thought my next move would be closer back to Kentucky. Uh, but I think enticing, you know, 100% is just what's up and coming and what's ahead of Houston, uh, for Houston. The opportunities that are going to be presented to us because of what Mac is doing from leadership down and also Dr. Couture from leadership down um, there, I think that's where it starts, that I can clearly see even though you know things are not exactly where we want them, that's how programs are, you can see where they're going to be with what's being um, put in front of us. And I think hands down there's no question with Mac um, at, at the head lead and and just conversations with them in our communication that this is this position would uh, present tons of opportunities for me. And I think as a recruiting base, you know, when I was at Mississippi, we recruited Texas very heavily and, and had some studs come out of Houston to play for Mississippi. So um, I think both what's, what's ahead for the University of Houston Athletics and the recruiting base that's here, it, it's a, it's a no-brainer. All right, so how did you find the volleyball program when you first got on campus? Um, you know, I, I think the team, as far as individuals, have been great from the beginning. And I know, you know, for anyone, and especially for young people, change is very difficult. And so I think from personality standpoint, the team was very accepting. Uh, on the flip side, I think their full personalities weren't showing through. So our kind of goal for the spring was to just get personalities out, to get to know one another, to really push the players to get out of their comfort zones and have a feeling that, you know, it's okay to know the coaches better, to know each other better, because I think from that standpoint is where we could then get to the next step, which would be the competing part. If we don't know each other, then how can we compete and work hard for one another? So I think teamwork is is the ultimate. If you don't believe in your team and your teammates, then it's hard to be a team. Right, very hard to be a team, and hard to for as much as we demand at the collegiate level, it's hard to work hard for people you don't know. You know, it ends up becoming an individual um, perspective on things, which is ultimately disastrous in a team sport. Volleyball has undergone a, a bit of a change. You know, it went from the old state. 15 point games mm -hmm. with side outs and things like yeah. that to the rally scoring of 25 right. and for people who haven't been around volleyball a lot if you haven't been around when it made the change from 15 to 25 it's a whole new game it's it? a whole new game and it's much in my opinion it's much more exciting 
Um, the, there's never that stagnant lag time where it could stay 10-10 for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, it's ongoing, and, and if you're not in it from the beginning, then you're quickly out of it. So, um, you know, I think it evens the, the playing field out for teams. You know, all of a sudden there's not as big of a separation of the top 10 versus, you know, the top 25 to 50. That gap kind of goes away because anyone can compete now. Um, and the play just goes on. I think it draws the crowd in more. It's it's a much more intense game. So for me, I no question like the new rules a lot better. And I, I played with the old rules, so <laughs> it's quite a slow and, and, game. And you're ancient, of course. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, so when people come out to watch U of H volleyball, what style of play, you know, we tend to typecast basketball teams. Are they deliberate? Are they fast paced? Right. Can you typecast a volleyball team? Sure, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, and as we get better and learn our system better and the players get used to what the demands of the coaching staff are, I think you'll see a very fast paced offense, a very fast tempo offense. Um, we will be in general very middle dominated, so our middle attackers um, will kind of be our go-to players just to establish the offense, and then from there it kind of branches off into other um, system plans after that. But I think uh, it would be a very fast, high-paced um, program. All right. Talk a little bit about the players that you have with you right now. Gosh, I, you know, we're, we're kind of a little bit of a motley crew. You know, we have um, – one of our players is a redshirt junior from injury, Lucy Sharuk, who should be a senior but a very big leader on the team. So lucky for me, I get her two more years. Mm -hmm. um, we have two seniors, uh, Marlucy Toazi and Amanda Carson. Marlucy has only been here, though, two years as a transfer. Um, so we do get leadership from the senior class, but a little bit different dynamic. And Amanda, of course, has been here all four years and 100% a leader in that role. Um, we brought in six additional players three transfers and three freshmen that were um, committed to play to Houston. So six new people, but a little bit different split in experience level and, and age um, coming in. And so I think, you know, it, it just makes for a very diverse group that had about two and a half weeks to get over the diversity and, and come together and play as a team. So. So as you went out and recruited new players when you first got the job and as you're starting the process for the upcoming year, what's the reception you're getting? You know, reception actually has been great. And I, I tell you, a lot of the credit goes to the newcomers coming in. And what I tell, you know, any group of newcomers that come in, that you're, you're not the new person on the block. You are competing for position just like everybody else is the best people play. And I think they've actually taken to that really well and come in. I've seen leadership out of Amber Brooks as a junior transfer from UTSA that has come in and done a phenomenal job at leadership. And I think that's difficult coming into a new group and, and, and especially new group that's not established with a new coaching staff. So I think there's a lot of credit on their part to being able to come into this program and kind of get out of their comfort zone and, and be able to produce and contribute right away. All right, now part of your schedule, the first part of your schedule, very challenging with, with no. great teams, and then it highlights with a big event you got coming up on the 9th of October, right? Yes, that's correct. We have our alumni weekend on the 9th of October, which you know we're really excited about. I think one of the most exciting things of any program that I've ever been at is that Houston already has a tradition for volleyball. You know, we just have a phenomenal history for it, and so I want to being you know being a new staff, I want to make sure that we keep our alumni engaged and let them know how important they are to the program and how much they've contributed to getting the program to where it is. So we're really looking forward to having them back here. I think it makes it extra special that we're able to have an afternoon match and then they can continue on to the evening football game. Um, and see football and, and as much excitement that's going on there, you know, it, it's across the board excitement for the whole department. Does football really kind of set the tone? Uh, I've talked to a lot of coaches about this, and they say if your football team has a good year, it tends to rub off on all the other, other programs. Yeah, well, I think, you know, football being such a dominating force, you know, in all factors of numbers, of, you know, what, the, what they bring into us monetarily. I mean, absolutely everyone benefits from a good football program. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think 100% we all benefit from that. And if people get go to a football game, they might go to a volleyball match or they might go to a soccer game or something like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. And I, I think, you know, with football is where you get the numbers of, of crowd. And so 
they can get the people here for us and they can get the people excited and then that's when football does well then it does get all the numbers that come to those games and gets them excited about the rest of us so yeah. back to your alumni weekend if mm -hmm. people want more information is there a place they can get it Yes, absolutely. They can go on the website, on the volleyball website is on there. And also all the contact information for Nicole Miller, my assistant coach, who's organizing it and handling it. It's all on our web page. And there's actually a tab, um, a specific tab for the alumni reunion on our volleyball page. That's Molly Alvey. She's our new volleyball coach. You can see why Mac Rose will be excited to hire her. You can see why her players have rallied around her. And now it's time for you to step up and rally behind the volleyball team and your university. Go out and see a volleyball match if you've never been and take in some Cougar volleyball and see what it's like this time around with Molly Alvey at the controls. And then support your university on our drive to become a Tier 1 school by joining your alumni association. One of the criteria they judge is a large, enthusiastic, and involved alumni association. The way for you to do that, quite simply. Just join the Alumni Association if you're not already a member. We have a variety of plans for you to sign up with. Just go to our website, www.houstonalumni.com, and you can find out all the information. We have staff involvement. You can get involved any way you want. And if you're already a member, you might want to consider upgrading to life membership status, and that will bring additional benefits to you. So take part in your university. Be a part of the University of Houston. Pay back a little bit of what it gave to you to make you what you are today by joining the Alumni Association, www.houstonalumni.com. That's our interview today with Molly Alvey. I'm Tom Franklin. We'll see you next time.